everybody, it's me Sissy and today I'm going to show you how I made these cute um, little wall hangings. Um, these are to go in my bathroom and my sister's bathroom. Aren't they so sweet? Um, I just printed these images off the internet and then ran them through my laminator so they would um, you know, kind of hold up in the bathroom without being glass in it. But I'm going to show you how I made the frame. But um, these are so cute. I'm going to show you all of them in this some for each of our different pups. So stay tuned to see how I made them. So we have our stir stick. We're gonna put it down and I'm gonna get as close to the edge as I can to make my 45 degree cook, cut so that I'll have a nice long piece to use for my frame. So we're just gonna engage our saw and then cut down. Okay, so then we have it cut, and I know that I'm going to need, let me get my ruler. My pictures are approximately 8 by 10, so I'm going to cut one of these. It's going to measure from the cut edge here to where you want your um, angle to be. Down eight. So from here, I don't know, can y'all see? From here to my mark is eight. And I want my um, angle to be going the other way to make my miter corner. So that's going to be wrong. So. I'm just going to line up my little mark right in the center of the groove, hold my stick down, and then we'll cut. Okay, so we, okay, so we have our pieces cut, and then I'm just going to sand the edges. This is just a sanding block from um, Dollar Tree. Okay, Let's see, I have a Teflon sheet down here, so I'm just going to take my pieces, kind of lay them out. Zoom it all out. So I have my pieces. We're just going to do a, a dry fit to see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Might need to turn this up a bit. Put a mark on this one. Now I have my little square um, from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to get my corners together and then we're just going to glue it with a little, um, this is Aileen's Tacky Glue. You can use wood glue. Um, the only thing I wouldn't use is hot glue. I'm going to put a generous coat on there. Yeah, I'm going to stick them together. Kind of smooth that out with my finger. Make sure I got it in there good. And then I'm just going to take a damp sponge, lightly damp. And get some of that excess glue off. And then just to keep it, hold it secure while it's drying, I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape. And this is from Dollar Tree also. I'm just going to tape down that corner. Put 
cut to dry, we can go find our picture that we want to frame. Um, you can take some of these pretty um, pictures from the calendars and frame those. I've got something in mind for my sister I got on the computer, so I'm going to print it out. But I'm going to double check my measurements because, you know, I'm just starting out and um, I'm not uh, exact on my measurements. Because this is supposed to be an 8 by 10 opening and I'm going to see. It's not quite... It's about seven and three quarters and about ten and a quarter. So I'm going to go print out a picture to go in here. And since I don't have glass or anything in here, I'm just going to run the picture through my laminator and laminate it. So we'll be okay, right back. Okay, once our picture frame is dry, we're going to um, take our tape off. And I'm going to paint it white. I just have some white um, chalk paint. So we're going to give that a coat and see if we need a second coat. painted and it's dry now and we're just gonna and I cut out my picture I just printed it off the internet and then I just ran it through my laminator and check it for size going to put a couple pieces of painter's tape then I'm going to position my frame over my picture flip it over And then to um, hold my picture in and um, kind of stabilize my frame a little bit, I'm just going to hot glue some popsicle sticks on the corners. A bit of hot glue. See, we've got our cute little picture in there. And now I'm going to hang these with um, the command strips. So I'm just going to take another little piece of popsicle stick and glue it to the back. command strip there we go and it's all ready to hang all right y'all that's it that's our cute little wall decor for our bathroom and you can do this with any picture like I said I just ran it through my laminator if you don't have a laminator you could um put the clear contact paper over it. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but it, it should work. Or you can get the clear file folder sleeves and, and do that. But um, Dollar Tree's got some really cute calendars out right now. they got the, the Bless the Swarm ones. got some really cute pictures. And the, um, the v Bray calendar. Those are really cute. I love this Swarm one. All these little pictures on the back and make little mini frames for my dollhouse, so I think that'll be really cute. But uh, anyway, get out there and make some. Remember, if CC can do it, y'all can do it too. You don't have to be afraid of power tools if you
Thank you.